hello there from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Today is August, Bank Holiday Monday 2020. How fast is 2020 going? It's crazy. It's been a while since we've done any kind of vlog here, so we're back to see how things are going in terms of social distancing, ride queues, and all of the usual stuff really. This video will be more about the park than our opinions. It was busy but efficient getting into Blackpool Pleasure Beach. No complaints here about the social distancing measures and in fairness most people appear to have been following the guidelines in place so far. The park closes down at 6pm today but with the weather being so good and the park already appearing to be very busy I can see at least one extension coming to the opening hours. The Grand National is in for a busy day but it's running on four trains so that's all good for those who want to ride it. I won't be one of those people, I don't want to upset anyone here, but I just won't be riding it anytime soon. I haven't found it enjoyable for some time now, but the last time I did do it a couple of weeks ago, it really was uncomfortable. Oktoberfest preparations are being made on the former Wild Mouse site. This is a new event for Blackpool Pleasure Beach which will be taking place on Saturdays in September. I believe there is more information on Blackpool Pleasure Beach's social media platforms about this event. As well as the Grand National, the Big Dipper is looking very busy too. But that said, the queue for the Big Dipper always moves really, really quickly. A top tip there really, never be put off by the length of the Big Dipper queue. It always does move really quickly, it's a very, very efficient ride at the Pleasure Beach. Icon doesn't appear to be too bad in terms of queue length or social distancing in the queue line. In fairness, social distancing can either look really good or really well observed I should say, or terribly observed depending on the angle of a photo or a video. I think with social distancing it's easy to create a narrative depending on which angle the photo is taken from really. You could say, right now I'm saying it's good, but really, another photo could show it as not being observed, or another video, I should say. Our first ride stop of the day is, of course, the big one. I'm going to predict a 70 minute queue from this point. The big one is currently permanently on two trains due to the crowd levels and running full trains now, but the offload procedure can be a slow process with the train being unloaded in two sections usually being unloaded from the front and then down towards the back. It took us around 80 minutes to get on the big one. So not too bad in the current situation really. I don't really like queuing for rides that I've done loads of times, but I'm always happy to make exceptions for the big one. I do still wonder why it gets so much hate, you know. Whilst it's not the best ride in the world, on its good day, it's a really fun coaster with a fantastic first drop. It may lack in airtime, but I will always disagree with the monorail comments that are thrown around about it. Pizza Kitchen has sadly been a letdown today. It took us over an hour to get served when there was visibly empty seats all inside of the catering area and few people waiting in the queue to be served once inside. There's been some sort of change of procedure which has resulted in a really slow service. Unfortunately, we did have to complain not only about how long it took to get in, but the food was generally a letdown too, which is really sad considering catering at Blackpool Pleasure Beach has been e excellent since the park reopened in July. And if you've been watching us for a while, you know that I'm usually quite critical of the food at most theme parks. Pleasure Beach Express is always our go-to ride after dinner. It's a great way to relax, take in the views and just let your dinner settle down that little bit. Today in general has been a really relaxed day for us, but that said, it's pretty rare that we ever come here to try and ride every roller coaster or every ride at all. As a season pass holder, it's just nice to chill out, especially on these busy days, just to soak up the excellent atmosphere throughout the park. I just want to give a massive shout out to the excellent Pleasure Beach Express driver, John. He clearly loves his job and speaks to every customer enthusiastically, pleasantly, and he's an absolute credit to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. He really does deserve all of the praise that he's been getting on just about every bit of social media that I've seen him get praise on because he's just been a great member of staff to talk to, see driving the train. He's just a lovely man, really, really nice. 
It's very busy here today. Busier than expected. The park has been extended from 6pm to 7pm. Ice Blast has been crazy busy all day, but to be honest, it always is in the summer. Valhalla is still scheduled for a 2021 reopening, but there's still very little info out there about the reimagining. It'll be interesting to see what has changed when it does reopen. Whilst it's been a lot busier than expected today at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the walkways are fairly quiet with social distancing not really being a problem at all. Going back to the catering, because we're in Burger King, Burger King is somewhere that we don't really come to very often these days, so it's worth a mention that for a change that we're in here, and just to mention that the seating areas are now closed off due to social distancing, and it is pretty much takeaway only. However, we were only going in for a drink on this occasion, we felt that it was a good idea to grab a large drink before we got in the big one queue again. We are nearing the end of today's video, but whilst I summarise, I hope you enjoy these shots of the big one which were filmed whilst the tide was out at a safe distance from the beach. On arrival, we were given the impression it could be a quiet day. It was anything but a quiet day, which takes me on to a more important point. I have seen a lot of comments about Blackpool Pleasure Beach appearing to be busier than it's ever been before. It's certainly busy, but we're talking somewhere between 7 and 10,000 busy. The busiest Blackpool Pleasure Beach has ever seen is when there was 80 odd thousand people in, or even more than that, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. Now I'm not criticising Blackpool Pleasure Beach for not having 80,000 people in the park in this modern day and age, because that's just not going to happen. But what I mean is, I've seen a lot of comments saying that Blackpool Pleasure Beach is the busiest it's ever been, they're not sticking to social distancing, they're not capping the amount of people that can come in, but I think there's got to be some perspective on this. Nobody can really go anywhere at this point. Nobody's got any money. Lots of people have been furloughed. Lots of people didn't dare to book to go abroad because they didn't know if we're going to be in a lockdown. They didn't know if we're going to be allowed to go anywhere because of quarantine and all that. So most people have gone, do you know what? Let's go to Blackpool. Let's go to the seaside. Let's enjoy somewhere like Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which I think it's been great for Blackpool. I don't think I've seen it this busy for probably 10 or 15 years, which can only be a good thing for the whole of Blackpool and not just the Pleasure Beach, but it is definitely not the busiest that Blackpool Pleasure Beach has ever been. So, are social distancing measures in place? Absolutely. Are people sticking to it at all times? Not at all. Can Blackpool Pleasure Beach realistically do any more about it? I don't think they can. I think they're doing their best in a very difficult and ever-changing situation. In reality, are people actually social distancing anywhere anymore? I was getting pretty bored of doing the old style vlogs where it would be me, Mike and Mark, we would go on the big one, say it was the best roller coaster in the country, we'd go on Icon, we'd say yeah it's great but it's not as good as the big one, we'd then go on Big Dipper, say it was running really well, we'd then go back to the big one, do Icon, do Big Dipper and it'd just be the same all over again all through the vlog, covering very little else, and it got boring for me to edit, which makes me think it was boring for everyone to watch. So I do hope you've enjoyed this different style of Blackpool Pleasure Beach video. I appreciate it's not very long, it's not a long vlog, it's not feature length, it doesn't cover the merchandise or stuff like that, but we've not really been covering Blackpool Pleasure Beach much at all lately, so we just thought we'd get back there show what's going on at the park, have a look at the social distancing after a lot of complaints recently, and just a general sort of overview of how the park's doing and what has been a very busy time. But that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this style of video, and I'll see you soon in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.